oh yeah the presidential elections in the u.s right um so as it stands at the moment joe biden has won but it hasn't been confirmed um because i guess trump is still going to contest the result he's not very um or trump's camp aren't too best pleased with how the votes were counted in the end and you know aside from all the conspiratorial nonsense that that can kind of garner i do sometimes i do have a bit of sympathy for that position you know whether or not he probably shot himself in the foot anyway prior to the elections by you know he spent a long time um dismissing or denigrating mail-in votes and supposedly from what i read online i don't know why this is the case but for most from for some reason democrats tend to mail in their votes more often um than republicans and then of course you've got the covid stuff going on so there's a there's a segment of the population that believes in covid so they're probably not going to be that um infused about going out to poland booth to go and vote for this election which they're probably not that enthusiastic about in the first anyway because two of the options are pretty shit so coupled that with trump the you know basically you know poo-pooing the idea of mailing votes it makes sense why the votes are skewed but my you know rational hat on i have to say if all the votes that have been counted late are always you know kind of skewing up on the side of biden that does seem a bit fishy to me again i don't know politics i'm not very okay with how they go about electing their presidents in the united states what process have to go through what steps are in place i know there's a few political pundits have come out who basically called it i think um the guy from rising he basically called it within one point as to where the votes will be allocated um where you know key swing states bloody blah, blah 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 and he was able to predict it within one point so i'm sure if you pay attention enough you could have seen this happening um you could have seen this coming on trump's end as under the things but i don't know man part of me really did think trump had a chance of winning just because 2020 has been such a crazy year right so many um tragic celebrity deaths of course covid raging throughout the entire world um you know other other really you know protests terrorist attacks like there's been some absolute madness going on within a span of 12 months so i was just of the thinking the only way this year would make sense in terms of capping it off would be if trump won a second term that was the only way it would make complete sense anything apart from that wouldn't make any sense but you know maybe americans have sort of just uh, maybe it's not even because of you know no one can sit here and say biden is the, an angel right because i'm sure some people who are against the war are going to be a bit nervous about having joe biden you know be in the white house because he's probably going to be a little bit trigger happy in terms of invading some unbeknown uh country in the middle east and you know kamala harris's record as a prosecutor and attorney general is or state prosecutor prosecutor and attorney general yeah, attorney general yeah um you know it's nothing to really ignore right she um probably isn't i wouldn't say she's a friend of black and brown people it would be fair to say she's probably an enemy um and i don't think someone like that can suddenly make a 360 degree u-turn in terms of some of the her ideas and policies that she's going to enact so it's going to be very interesting to see how she ends up communicating with the woke progressive left right because you know they seem to be quite i don't say centrist but they're probably a lot more republican than they are quasi democrat especially in the woke sense of it so it's going to be interesting to see how they handle it but it does feel like this is a bit of a victory for sanity it feels like for the states they've just had enough of the free show you just had enough of the circus especially with covid i think maybe in a non-covid year trump would have probably won re-election if i maybe that's something to say because you, you you think to yourself you know if the if the economy was booming as he says he was and jobs were overflowing and the stock market was up and all this sort of stuff he likes to brag about and he you know he serviced people of in middle america and he made the middle class happy and all these sort of great things right tax breaks for the ultra rich um kept manufacturing in certain key spots or location hollywood was thriving blah 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 there's a part of me that thinks the american public would have been you know what let's just keep this guy in for another four years we can probably grin and bear it but i think in the midst of covid with what's going on in the world it's just too you just can't have if there's so much uncertainty that you you know out there the last thing you need is to have uncertainty on your own soil especially with your commander-in-chief and he's just too too reckless you would have thought like i don't know prior because you know 
that whole Hitler comparison to Trump were a bit far fetched, right? He he didn't really turn into Adolf Hitler. He doesn't necessarily have the acumen or the patience to become a demagogue in that way, right? He's just a bit of a narcissist, right? Um, but in terms of having the potential to be the next, you know, Stalin and stuff, that never really happened under Trump. He just hasn't got the 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 brains to basically figure that operation out. Of course, if you're American, you have to be a bit worried because somebody that dumb was able to no one say that dumb if somebody that was le less as unstrategic as trump is pretty impulsive and everything he does, especially if you read some of the accounts he just you know he flies to see if his pants if that's the case you have to be a little bit nervous about what would happen if somebody got into power who was a little bit more you know um not even pragmatic who, who had a little bit more foresight Right, he was a little bit more deliberate in their actions. Knew what to button to press, knew what to play. Right, because Trump did that whole racist dog whistling thing for a bit, but you know he kind of backed away from it pretty quickly when the, his feet were put to the fire. But if you get someone that can really press those buttons well, you could be in for a really scary time in it. It kind of reminds me of that. What's that Bible scripture about? You know, the Antichrist being somebody that you would never expect. Right, the Antichrist is probably going to be somebody that looks more like Barack Obama as opposed to Rudy Giuliani. Right, um, he's going to come in, be very charismatic. You know, um, be the answer to a lot of things in the immediate term, but obviously long term, he's going to be bad for humanity. But anyway, um, part of me thinks Trump could have won if you just would have been a bit more sensible and just would have. I hate to use the phrase presidential, but just would have had some kind of uh <laughs> sympathy empathy towards the situation people were going through especially during covid he just dismissed it like nothing was going on he gets it himself and doesn't use the opportunity to you know to maybe um to to get everyone behind the collective effort even if it was just like hey i got it i shook it off but i had the best physicians and doctors in the world looking after me but we've been told that if we kind of get this thing down for the next four weeks we're not going to be, I'm not going to mandate a mask anymore or whatever, right? He could have just done something along those kind of lines just to alleviate some fears. But I think that along with the fact that, you know, each state has their own governor who basically runs a, runs a ship the way that they want to run it. And there, there's just so many different swings around. There's so much um, different variations of how they kind of address COVID in the states. So it's just probably, it's impossible to kind of govern and to kind of get them all in line. But a unified message from the you know heading for the you know for the man in the hot seat would have definitely gone a long way but unfortunately he did only it seemed like for the most part again maybe it wasn't his fault because for the moment he stepped into the white house you know the the, the guys on the left weren't giving him any chance but he did only really govern for the republicans and he wasn't really an american president maybe that's where they you know the american public have sort of voted like hey we need a unifier we need someone to come in who's dare i say boring right just your typical politician in Joe Biden, typical, you know, uh, political professional in terms of Kamala Harris, two people who you know exactly what you're going to get. Their record speaks more than what they say. I think that's what people should really keep an eye on, keep an eye on Joe Biden's record prior to him, you know, becoming vice president, prior to him now becoming, you know, president-elect. Obviously, keep an eye on what, or, you know, read back on what Kamala Harris's record is like, and you, you'd kind of get a good idea of what they are like as people. But, I think this is just maybe a vote for sanity, a vote for a clear head, a vote for a return to normalcy. Um, there's a I'm not really fond of the whole like protesting and cheering in the streets. I think that's a little bit corny. I think, you know, when Trump won and, you know, all the left people were in the streets crying and shouting and, you know, Republicans were mocking them. People didn't like that either. I think there should be a little bit of dignity. It's not and again, it's not teams. It's not United v. Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? It's like the fate of your country is at stake here especially during these unprecedented times you probably everyone needs just to come together and just put their differences to us uh, to one side at least for now you can get back to fighting each other next year but until we've got a vaccine in circulation it might be beneficial just to kind of you know um try and um keep the peace as they say but yeah man um so far it's looking like what you got 279 uh votes as opposed to trump's 214 again not a landslide that they'll predict that they were predicting there's still some votes to be counted in from arizona uh georgia north carolina and alaska but for so far everyone's saying that's basically it he's not going to make up the difference with those three states i guess or four sorry um and yeah not as not as a landslide as everyone thought it was going to be whether or not this is going to um alert the democrats as to some bits that they're missing out on in terms of how they address the public or the american citizens it's probably not going to happen but yeah sanity prevailed i guess
they want to return to normalcy they want a president that's just going to govern for um the majority of americans out there and i guess maybe you couldn't get a, a safer pair of hands than joe biden or a more simpler to read set of hands in it and ultimately if the goal is to get kamal harris into into the oval office you know because people are saying that you know um biden isn't at his best at the moment um you know both mentally and physically if that's the case then it's probably a good idea to put them in power now and then to wait for 2024 but yeah i guess he won i guess he won i'd love to know let me know my american listeners are you happy with the result would you prefer trump to have been in power um so far all the riots and fighting that we thought were going to happen hasn't necessarily transpired now is that because it hasn't been confirmed officially what do you guys think um i'm sure the ceremony where they kind of you know where trump is meant to um what's up concede is going to be interesting in it but um so far that is what we know